Let's learn about the half angle identities. For example, let's use a half angle identity to find the exact value of sine of 22.5 degrees. Well, let's recall these identities. Now, since we're looking for a sine value, we'll use this first identity here. So let's let u over 2 equal 22.5 degrees. That is, u over 2 is equal to 22.5 degrees. Or multiplying both sides by 2 gives us that u is equal to 2 times 22.5 degrees or 45 degrees, which we needed to know so we can plug that value of u into this identity over here. Now there's one other issue with this formula, isn't there? What does this plus or minus mean? Does that mean there's two answers every time? No, we choose plus or minus depending upon what quadrant u over 2 lies. And since 22.5 degrees, or u over 2, is in quadrant 1, we'll choose the plus, because sine values are positive in quadrant 1. And now we're ready to compute our value. Sine of 22.5 degrees is equal to, we're choosing the positive, square root, of 1 minus cosine of u, and u we found to be 45 degrees, all divided by 2. Now 45 degrees is one of our common trigonometric angles, and the cosine of it is square root of 2 over 2. Now let's simplify this numerator by finding a common denominator. The common denominator would be 2, so this numerator here is 2 minus square root of 2 divided by 2. And we still have the denominator of 2. And this is equal to the square root of 2 minus the square root of 2, all divided by 4. And since the square root of 4 is 2, we can write our answer as the square root of 2 minus square root of 2, all divided by 2. All right, let's look at another example. Let's use the half angle identities to find the exact values of cosine of 5 pi over 12 and tangent of 5 pi over 12. Again, let's recall these identities. And now since we're looking for a cosine and a tangent value, we'll be using these last two identities down here. Again, let's let u over 2 equal this angle here of 5 pi over 12. That is, u over 2 is equal to 5 pi over 12. And again, multiplying both sides by 2 gives us that u is equal to 2 times 5 pi over 12, or 5 pi divided by 6, which we then can plug into our identities over here, wherever we see a u. And notice with the tangent identities, there's three different identities you can use, but we'll be using the first one. And again, we're going to need to determine whether we're going to choose the plus or the minus for both of these. And remember what determines that is what quadrant u over 2 lies. Well, since 5 pi over 12 lies in quadrant 1, We'll choose the plus for both because both cosine and tangent are positive in quadrant one. Now there's a common mistake that students make often. We want to be sure that we're looking at what quadrant u over two lies and not u to determine whether we're gonna choose the plus or the minus. For example, let's look at our situation here. Five pi over 12 is pi over 12 short of six pi over 12, which is pi halves. So it lies about right here. Now what about u? Remember, looking back up here, we found that u is equal to five pi divided by six. And five pi divided by six is over here in quadrant two.
Now, since cosine and tangent are both negative in quadrant two, students are tempted to choose the negative choices here because they're thinking about what quadrant u lies rather than what quadrant u over two lies. Don't make that mistake. Always look at what quadrant this u over two lies and not u to determine the plus or minus in these identities. All right, let's compute our values. Cosine of five pi divided by 12 by this identity here is equal to, we're choosing the positive, square root of one plus cosine of u, which was five pi divided by six, all divided by two. Now five pi divided by six is one of our common trigonometric angles, and the cosine of it is negative square root of three divided by two. Again, let's find a common denominator in the numerator, and that common denominator would be two. We still have the denominator of two, which is equal to the square root of two minus the square root of three, all divided by two times two, which is four. And since the square root of four is two, we can simplify this answer as two minus the square root of three, all divided by two. All right, what about our tangent value? Tangent of five pi over 12 by this identity here is equal to, we're choosing the positive, square root of one minus cosine of u or cosine of five pi divided by six, all divided by one plus cosine of u, or five pi divided by six. And again, cosine of five pi divided by six is negative root three over two. So we'll have one minus a negative root three over two, or plus root three over two, all divided by one minus square root of three over two. And now writing both the numerator and denominator with a common denominator of two gives us the square root of two plus the square root of three over two, all divided by two minus the square root of three over two. And now the twos will cancel, which leaves us with our answer of the square root of two plus square root of three, all over two minus square root of three. And this is how we use the half angle identities. Just be careful that you're looking at what quadrant u over two lies and not u when determining the plus or minus in these formulas. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.